What's up Reefers, today we are unboxing and taking a closer look at the Reeflow 2.0 4000 DC controllable wave maker from TMC. It is their second generation DC controllable wave maker. It's got a small form factor and it packs a heck of a punch. Let's go. Whilst I open up the box and ditch the instructions, we'll go over a few of the tech specs. This model is a 15 watt DC controllable wave maker that has a maximum flow rate of 4,000 litres per hour. The reflow is available in three different sizes. We've got a 15 watt 4,000 litres per hour, a 26 watt 8,000 litres per hour and a 52 watt 16,000 litres per hour. It's similar in design to the Reef Tide that I've been using on my nano tank for the past eight or nine months, uh, but it has got a ton of improvements. So far we've removed the instructions, the power plug, and also the little bag of cable management bits that TMC now include in the pack. So now we can get into the good stuff. The pump itself has had some major improvements. I do love how small and compact these pumps are. I'm not a massive fan of these huge bulky power heads that you can get. I've got a couple in my Reefer 250. Uh, they get the job done, but they are a little bit unsightly. So I'm, I'm really a fan of these small form factor pumps that are now becoming available. They've detached the magnet from the back of the pump, which I feel is a great move. It makes it a lot more versatile. The magnet is concave and it cradles the pump, allowing you to point the power head up, down, left, right, pretty much anywhere you want it to go. The magnet is a rubber cover that helps reduce vibrations and it also provides extra grip to the pump with these little suction cups. The glass side of the magnet also has a layer of foam to further reduce noise from vibrations. The magnet is rated up to 15 millimeter glass and disassembly of the pump is extremely easy. Just remove the magnet, twist and pull the nozzle and remove the propeller. Uh, means maintenance on this pump will be an absolute breeze. Inside the box, you also get two additional nozzle attachments. These attachments are interchangeable and they aid with the spreader flow. So if you're after a narrow, more focused current, you can select one nozzle and if you're after a more broad, widespread flow pattern, you can select another. There are three attachments included in the box, so you can select whichever best suits your needs. So let's move on to the controller. This is probably the biggest change from the previous model. They've ditched a big, bulky controller and opted for a much more sleek design. They've also simplified the use of the controls. It's now got two buttons, one for the mode and one for the intensity. The pump has three modes to choose from. We've got continuous, pulse, and reef. Continuous is an always on mode. Pulse mode is a short, fast pulse. And reef mode is a more intense pulse mode, but it's got a long ramp up and ramp down time. It sort of replicates the natural back and forth motion of the reef. The intensity of the pump goes up in 10% increments with an LED indicator for every 20% increase and the LEDs on the controller also illuminate in sync with the mode that you've selected so you can see which mode you've selected just by looking at the controller. I actually really like the simplicity of this. Personally, I'm not a massive fan of running multiple flow patterns throughout the day. The wave makers that I've got in my tanks, they do have the option to set a schedule, but I'm the sort of person that just puts them on pulse mode 24 seven, set it and forget it. And that's what I like about these pumps. Overall, the reflow is really well built. It's uh, relatively cheap in comparison to the rest of the market, but it certainly doesn't feel that way. The plastics, they don't feel cheap, they feel robust, and it feels like it should last a lifetime. The controller, it feels like it's got an aluminium back and it's got a nice durable plastic on the front. I'm not a massive fan of touchscreen buttons, so I like the fact they've actually used proper buttons on this uh, controller as well. It's whisper quiet, compact, affordable, and as wave makers go, it doesn't look half bad. So yeah, that's the TMC Reflow 4000. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please do like, please do subscribe, and I shall catch you next week, guys.